Good day, guys. We're going to be starting here shortly. I want to give everybody time to get on in here, but we're going to be starting shortly with live Google My Business audits and website audits. So just hang out in here guys, we're going to get started here shortly. got about 10 more minutes we're going to get started if you'd like for me to audit a website or audit a GME just drop it in the chat and I will make sure to audit it for you We do these every Tuesday, really. We're going to be doing just tons of audits every week. We probably do close to 100 plus audits. Just trying really to teach people how to do SEO, how to do Google My Business SEO in specific. All right, we're about to get started here. So we're going to go ahead and get started here shortly. 
with these Google My Business audits. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to wind up doing, let me go ahead and pull this up. All right, is going to be for a rank and rent website. This lady wanted me to do an audit for her. So, I mean, really, if you look at these, I know immediately it's a rank and rent website. It's probably a JK or what we call a job killer website. And they generally look like garbage i mean quite honestly um this site if you look at it, it's an html site they just slap some content up and kind of hope for the best and try to get it ranking and if you will a lot of times they're sold on the dream of hey you're going to get ranked and then you can just sell the leads and all the magic happens and they don't really know a whole lot about seo in general so for example Many things I would do on this is, A, make it look like a real website. Sticky header up here that follows you, call to action. Actually do a real legitimate website, okay? Because um, if I look at this, it's not going to look like you got any issues, HTML issues, because you don't. You don't really have a website. It's not a full-blown website. Um, the most you have is 50 info issues, which are going to be do follow external links. Nothing big, right? But then if we go over here and we look at, okay, are you ranking? Well, if I'm looking for the term tree service Marietta, Louisiana, then yes, you're ranking. But most people are not going to fucking enter in tree service Marietta, Louisiana. They're going to enter in tree service, you know, in shorter terms. The only one you're even in the three pack for is the actual domain name. If we remove that, you're not even there, right? You're in Google rank in the organic for tree service, Marietta, Louisiana, right? Well, why is that? Because your whole domain name is tree service, Marietta, right? But any of these other terms that people are actually looking for, you're not even ranking for, right? The best you got is tree risk tree service, and that's page two. None of these other ones that actually matter are you even decently ranking for, right? And I don't even, let's see if you even have a GMB. I'll go over to my questions to answer in my email. Go through that because that's where I keep everything we're going to be doing today. And then chopping these up and sending this video over to some clients or potential clients that wanted these done. So, <clears throat> like, uh, let's see. This was Marietta right here. Let's see if she even has a GMB. I don't see a GMB yet. All right, well. She has this maps down here, but no embed. So she doesn't have a GMB. There's no GMB. What she has attached to it is just an address. There's no actual GMB, no post, nothing. If you wanted my advice, hire a professional, start with a good website, structure everything, and then actually get your GMB set up, business name, everything. Only thing you have here is an address attached to it. So really we don't want to waste too much time fiddling around with something like this we want to actually create a legitimate website and we'll see what a legitimate website would look like um this is facade installation is the one we're working on you know we have all completely abundantly optimized if you will um for you know seo the page of the images are still loading sorry about that but um this is the way, you know, your services, et cetera, should be set up. You should have your images set, optimized, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, it looks like a legitimate website, right? 
not like this. This is just a typical JK lead generation rank and rent website. So we want to actually create a legitimate website. That's going to be step one. All right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to send these reports over to you in regards to your rankings or lack thereof. And then you can determine what you want to do from there. But my first step would be get a website. We build them out for $350. And I have about 30 rank and rent partners that we deal with on a monthly basis and give them rankings and give them legit websites um, that they could be proud of as well. Okay. Um, let's see here. So we got two more here um, audits we're going to go ahead with, and that is going to be pediatric of sugarland.com and pediatricshouston.com. Okay, let's go ahead and start with these two and see where they're at as far as their on page SEO and then as far as their rankings. We're going to be here a while, guys, so just take your time. Go get a coffee. If it's first thing in the morning where you're at, I am in the Philippines, so um, we are in the evening where we're at. So let's make sure the preferences are set up. This is Link Assistant. I don't really care for Yahoo. I'm going for Google, Google Maps, Organic, and Mobile. I want to see what we're ranking for there. And then I had no, but and then I hit cancel and I hit check all. I haven't checking it all while we're doing this. All right, so let's go to the website. So this is the pediatric website. Um, one thing I don't like is, and I, I re-emphasize this over and over, is I want a menu that follows me. I want this menu along with the call to action, which is make an appointment and the phone number to follow me as I scroll. Overall, as far as looks, this is a legitimate website. I like the fact you get your eight-year headers up here. You're mentioning the term pediatrics. You're mentioning um, where you're located at in some of these. But what we want is we want this not to be moving. We don't. I really could care less with slideshows. I want it to be a stagnant image with an H1 header that's going to tell me, okay, that you're a pediatrician in Sugarland. Right now, you have. Um, an H1 header, it's pediatric Sugarland, but it is down further of what we call below the fold. I want the images that I'm trying or the text and what I'm trying to rank for to be above the fold or what I can see in my line of vision in this area right here. So right now, the only thing I see in my line of vision is not one single H1 header. You have H3 headers, you got H2 headers, and your H1 header is down here, right? That's your H1 header, and it's below the fold. I would fix that up. Let's look through some more of this. I like the whole layout. It's beautiful. I don't like the fact you don't have your reviews from Google on your homepage. There's no Google embed for your reviews here. Um, the other thing is you don't have your Google map on your home page. It needs to be on your home page. Um, let's see. I see the address, but I don't see an actual embed. Now let's say on the contact us page, do you have it embedded there? No, it's not even yet. Yeah, there it is. It's actually embedded here. Great. So we'll come back to the GMB in a little bit. Now, let's go, for example, and let's look at the content and see, does it have enough words? No, you only got 567 words on the home page. Now, let's look at some of the services. Let's say, choose ADHD. My daughter actually has ADHD, so um, let's choose this real quick. 703 words. So, there's not enough content on probably almost every page of the site. You need to be around 1,500 words on every single page of this website, okay? Now let's go over and look at the technical aspects of it. You got 1,632 issues, seven errors, nine warnings, and about 1,600 info issues. We wanna get most of this taken care of. Most of this will take me about a day to two days to get it taken care of, fix your alt text, 
your empty meta descriptions, duplicate meta description, broken links, broken images, stuff like that. We'll get those fixed up for you. Okay, now let's look at your rankings. As far as your reports, you are at 18% visibility. It's not too terrible, but it's not good. Um, I mean, it's at least a start is what I'm getting at. As far as that's not even a term, pediatra. What the hell is a pediatra? There's no pediatra. Pediatric is totally different. So pediatric like this pediatric wheelchair sugarland texas most people are not going to enter in sugarland texas they'll enter sugarland maybe but the, for the most part we want to see where are our rankings i'm going to try to see if we can pull a um what we like to call a geogrid report so let's say pediatrician or pediatrics um and we're going to try to pull this up for you so the name of the business is going to be down here. You know, <laughs> Pediatric Sugarland. Pediatrics of Sugarland. So Pediatrics of Sugarland. Let's log in and see what we can pull up here. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in um, the tool I'm using to see the headers if you're asking is called SEO meta in one click it'll show me everything in an area so I can see everything in regards to an audit and what it looks like so we're gonna go ahead let's go ahead and do a new scan and the name of the business is Pediatrician Sugarland or Pediatricians Sugarland, Pediatrics Sugar of Sugarland. So let's go run a scan. And I just want to see where you're at versus where you need to be. So go here. We're going to um, search for a new one Pediatrics of Sugarland. And hopefully I'll pull it up and then we'll do a um, geogrid search in that area for pediatrician and see where you're at. See, I could care less what you're ranking for a lot of times with pediatricians of Sugarland because most of the time people are not going to enter in that. They'll just enter in pediatrician. So let's run a scan on pediatrician and just let's see what comes up. Maybe we'll be surprised. Maybe you're actually ranking. But for my reports, what I've seen so far, um, it's not going to be looking good. I will send you this SEO report with the actionables um, as soon as we're done here. That way, if you want to fix it yourself, you can. If you want to hire me to fix it, we can do that as well. But I'm going to send you both the ranking report as well as the audit itself. And as we can tell already, just off of the GeoGrid report, um, this one green dot here, this is right on top of your facility, your ranking at your actual facility. But as you go out further, not even a mile, not even a two mile radius, this is totally about a five to six mile radius on a 13 by 13 grid, and you're not ranking. This right here, if I had you, it'd take me probably a month and I could get you ranking and start getting this geogrid from reds to greens. And I don't know if you've been paying attention to my wall, but we can do things like if you look on this one right here, for example, just give me an example. This was a month ago. A month later, this is what it looks like. And this is in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, but I'd love to help you. I'll send over those reports to you for the pediatrician of Sugarland. And now we're going to go to your next one. We can look at your GMB as well. If you'd like the pediatricians of Sugarland, you have 56 reviews. You're not responding to your reviews. You need to respond to all of your reviews as far as your actual posts for your GMB. Um, you're not posting as nearly as much as you need to be. You need to be posting at least once a day, five days a week. So those are just some pointers and things I would do. I have a very specific way in which I stack and make my GMBs look, especially 
my posts. If I will give me a second and I'll show you. For example, give you an example of how our post should look. Okay. Da, da, da. Our post should look like this. As the image, what we're trying to go over, which is a moving company, your main keyword, the content, your name, address, phone number with a link to your website, and a previous, see our previous post, GMB post link. Should look like that every time you go to do them. I'd love to help you. If you need help, just reach out. And let's go over to Pediat Pediatrics of Houston and take a look at that one as well for you. Uh, same kind of issues. I like this one though. It has a sticky header that follows you. Although your your phone number up here kind of get lost in that green with very small letters for white text. Same thing here with request an appointment. Um, but I do like the fact that you have your sticky header here. You need an H1 header up here where I can actually see your H1s. Um, you have an H1 header, but it is below the fold right here right just at the fold so that's at least just the fold right um, content wise this one let's see still don't have enough content even on this one let's okay let's look at your GMB on this one as well you have your GMB on your home page on this one so that's much better Okay, and we're going to go ahead and run an audit report on this as well. As well as your ranking report, we will pull both for you. All right, go preferences. Get rid of Yahoo because I'm mainly concerned with Google Maps, mobile and organic All right stop it real quick cancel that and let's start it back up now that I got my right preferences and search engines all right so let's wait on those audits but we'll go over to your GMB as far as your GMB here let's take a peek at it Got 338 Google reviews. Once again, need to respond to your reviews as you're not responding to them. You need to be posting 10 Q&As a month, at least 10 question and answers, such as information about ADHD or pediatric services that you offer. Um, let's see down here. I don't see your description. We'd like to see if in the back of it you have it. I just don't see it. Maybe you do, but according to this, you do not. Okay. Um, you do have your appointment link. You do have your regular website link up here. You have your hours of operation. That's good. Um, so everything with that looks good. However, I don't see any GMB posts being done from this specific GMB. Now let's go back over to the audit report. According to the audit, you only have 447 issues on this one. 22 errors, you need to get those fixed immediately. Uh, you have two broken links, duplicate titles, 41 too long, duplicate meta descriptions, 14. That would take me probably a day to fix. I'm going to go ahead and send this over to you as well. Let's close that one out. Then we go to rankings. As far as your rankings on this one, you only got 6% visibility. It's pretty much slim to none on visibility. I'll send that one to you as well. All right, but I'm going to also run you a geo grid so you can see that. So this one on this geo grid, let's go down here. And on this geogrid, this is pediatri Pediatrics of South Houston. Hey, Camellia. So you go here, run a scan. So we go over here, we're going to look for your business. And we're going to want to 
look for a PDA. We're going to want to get the results, if you will. We want to get your main keyword, which is a pediatrician, not pediatrics. Most people, pediatrician. Okay. Um, just like the other one. So I'm a terrible speller. So I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> oh. So we go over here to Scan Pediatrics of Southeast Houston. It's on West Loop. I just want to make sure this is the correct one. Yes, it is the correct one. So we're going to choose that one. We type in pediatrician. We're going to hit run. Sit back and wait and see what happens and see if this is the right one as well. And what we're going to do as far as our rankings and see where we're at. And it's pretty much the same as the other one. Fix the errors. And after we fix the errors, we're going to increase your content on all your pages. Make sure it's completely structured so we can get the geo grid for go from red to green. Okay, and that's going to be our main goal. And all of these geo grids is get them red to green. On this one, you're actually doing a hell of a lot better. Um, this one, you're already ranking one, two, and three. A couple of fours and fives. But overall, you don't have that much work to do on here. For the ranking reports, I use link-assistant.com. And you can buy those. And then I also use Local Falcon. So I'll send this report over to you as well. But if we go to those specific terms, pediatrician, you are ranking on this secondary website. So that one appears to be doing a lot better than the other one. All right, so if you need any help on the first one or even on the second one, let me know. We gladly help you. And let's keep on moving, and we'll go over to the next audit we're going to be doing. All right, so we have two websites, hotel client. All right, location pages she wants to know about. We went over location pages today in our Google My Business uh, Reloaded Masterclass. If you missed it or not signed up, make sure you sign up. It's only $97, or right now you can do the special, which is $597 for all my past courses, current courses, future courses. All right, so this is a hotel. She wants me to help her with this. Problem is to really help you. So I'm not going to help you on this. I need to know. Um, a, what's the actual link address? So if you can email me the link and I'll message you back, please email me. Please email me the website and GMB, please. And if you ever want me to do an audit for you, just make sure you send over your website and your actual GMB link, and I will gladly, gladly, gladly do it for you. All right. All right, next one. All right. So, he's a this one in specific. This is the GMB link. You know, he's trying to get um the name of the listing is French, but it's charging station Montreal. He wants to get his listing ranked. So you got a lot of work to do on this one. You don't have any reviews. You have one review. That's about it. I'll look at the website. You're not doing that many GMB posts. You need to be doing GMB posts five days a week. I can't reiterate that enough. Do them five days a week. Um, this is a typical rank and rent type layout once again. All right. This one looks a hell of a lot better than most rank and rents though. And it has tons of content, which is excellent. I mean, let me see what we're trying to get ranked to this position. Name of listen is French, but it means charging station Montreal. Right? So that's what he's going to be trying to rank for. Um, when he's searching the map, it shows all the different EV charging stations or electronic vehicle charging stations. Um, his listing was verified. 
Um, he was reinstated, verified immediately. Um, he believes the issue, the reason why it's not ranking, etc. Right? Um, so his main issue is this entire site is just not ranking. All right. So it's a charging station, recharging station in Montreal. And this one's going to be a little bit different, mainly because it is in French. So a couple of things. Um, you don't have your GMB embedded on the home page. I mean, that's a dead giveaway for me that it's a rank and rent. Um, I don't doesn't look like you have a contact page you don't have it there you have plenty of content from what I've seen so far you got quite a bit of content you could always add more on your service pages but on your home page it's excellent on your blogs you still need more content your blog should be about 1500 words at least just like everything else otherwise they're pretty much useless so for me Let's run this report real quick. I'm going to run an audit report even though it's on a JK website. And let's run your ranking report. And see where you're at. So it's not pulling any keywords, which is not a good thing for you as far as that. As far as your errors on your site. We'll see what it pulls as well. Okay. Without your GMB and knowing what your GMB is, I'm not going to be able to audit this completely. So if you could please, please, please send me your GMB over, I can audit it. You know, here's the GMB link. Let's look at that. And this is the name of the listing. Let's go ahead and do another scan. And we're going to scan this listing for its electronic vehicle. So let's see what we can pull up here. How well is this optimized? What can be done? What cannot be done? I mean, first off, give it a legitimate website. This is a job killer site. You ain't got that many issues, but that's because it's really not a legitimate website. This is just as typical, if you will, for me, just a typical job killer HTML website. I would prefer to put everything on WordPress, right? Then I prefer to do five days a week blog posts, not blog posts, but GMB posts just like this. Then besides that, I want to get some good content, good blogs going, etc. And let's look at our ranking report. So we're going to do a search for this area and see what we can find. Now, maybe most of the people are going to enter in French. I'm going to assume since the entire website's in French, that's what they'll do. All right. So let's type in this keywords right here. I'm not going to put in Montreal mainly because people are not going to be putting in Montreal and it's not going to pull up your GMB to even do a, to even do a search. All right, let's filter and see if we can do this again. And now it's going to do it. Run the scan, we'll wait. This is on a 13 by 13 grid. This is what I usually do. This is for EV charging station. All right. But I'm going to send these reports over to you as well. This report I'm not going to even bother with because it's only pulling the one and that's your website name. But this one, you're not nowhere in the top page. So. I personally would want to see the site number one in a regular WordPress site. After that, I'd want it structured. I'd want more content. And then I would also do at least four press releases. I would do a YouTube stack, which I go over in my Google My Business Masterclass Reloaded. Just that alone, you know, and I've shown this before, 
but this was 30 days ago. We took that client from there to there in 30 days. Okay, from there to there. Yes, Job Killer is or JK website is a rank and rent website. So that's on that one right there. I'll send this report over to you as soon as we're done. Okay. It's a couple more here. Okay. Now let's go over to I'm gonna pull up a couple of more. I got a bunch of reports already ready for everyone. And let's go ahead and pull up this. Shut down this, shut down this, shut down this, shut down this, shut down, shut down. All right, let me pull open a couple more because we got it. I got a good. You know, we got a good 20 or so to do of these. All right, so healthy home. This is the audit. Here's the keyword count. This is what I normally like to do when I do a content report and I look at how much content you have. Okay, this is the website. All right, on this website, it's One Healthy Home. I mean, overall, this is just, you know, very poorly, 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 poorly laid out website. First thing I would do is redo this entire website. This is just me. I'm honest as I, I can be with people. You know, your website's going to suck. It kind of sucks, you know. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. It's for mold testing and indoor air quality. And I know the industry well enough to know that you're going to need to up your game if you want to rank in this industry. Um, let's go ahead and try to pull your GMB as well. You don't have your embed on the home page. You don't have enough content. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you don't even have a GMB. It's going straight to the actual... Um, it's going straight to the just the street address. So I'd be curious if you have an actual GMB listed healthy home services. That's in Idaho. I don't think that is you. No, you are in Orlando, Florida. So let's see if I can pull you up in Orlando, Florida. Environmental services environmental services that would be you <clears throat> which is good all right so as far as your reviews you're getting reviews you are responding to them great you're getting people to come in here i'm assuming and click on your like button which is great um, that's awesome most people don't even do that all right you have your online appointments you have your website link um, you have some updates right but you're not doing them often enough at least on five days a week you do have products let's see you only yeah you got three or four of them in there let's see if you got them optimized you got them optimized as well with the keywords etc inside are you doing q and questions and answers you need to do about 10 a month you have 14 which is most more than most people i've seen which is great, but do at least 10 a month, okay? You're an environmental consultant in Florida, perfect. All right, now let's take this and see what you are ranking as under Local Falcon, okay? So let's go back to the dashboard, and we're going to run a ranking report for you. Um, I'm going to assume, I'm going to assume that since you are wanting mold inspection in Orlando, Florida, that that's going to be your main keyword, mold inspection, Orlando, Florida, right? First problem you're going to have, though, is your headers, once again, which I've been reiterating to everybody. Headers above the fold, your main H1 is home. 
and another H1. You got two H1s on here. That's terrible. Is poor quality air quality affecting your health? Well, your main keyword is mold testing in an indoor air quality Orlando. So you should have your actual Orlando in here. And I would have put it up here and laid this site out totally different. But you never know. Let's go ahead and look at all this and see where you're at. And search for your business. Here in Orlando, Florida. And let's put in indoor air quality. This is indoor air quality or mold testing. So this is in Orlando. There we go. And we'll sit back and wait, and I'll send you all these other reports, the content report, et cetera, over to you once we're done. As far as content, you don't have enough on any of the pages. Um, as far as your errors, you do have you know, a handful. But once again, that's if it was me, I would put the website into WordPress, give it an update, give it a facelift. I do websites for 350 Okay, so for example, even with what you have, you're in the top 10. It would take me a month or less and I could have this website in the top three pack. If you want help with that, just let me know and I would gladly help you. I mean, right here, you're already in the fives through sevens. It wouldn't take me much to get this to bump, you know, and get it to be green and if you've been following me for any length of time for example i'll show you another guy this guy it took me a month you know and let me go down here and show you started this 30 days ago and this is where he's at now he's in the top three pack he's dominating all of st louis i would love to help you so if you'd like my help i'm gladly help you and i'm going to send this report over to you as well Okay, now let's go over to the next broadcast or audit. It's Borden Family Law. So go over to Borden Family Law and look at everything on this one as well. All right, let's see if they got the, nope, don't have the GMB. All right, so a couple of things on this one. They don't have a sticky menu. This menu needs to follow you, right? Um, you don't have in your above the fold right here. I would want this family law, this to be your H1, and it include family law, the city you're in, but you have it down here, which is in Durham. Curious if that's an actual H1 or not. And yes, it is, but you have an H1 here and an H1 here, which is very confusing to Google. You need one H1. Not two, not three, not four, one H1. All right, this is an H1 right now, and then this is an H1. That's a big no-no, okay? Then we go down the website, the sticky menu, nothing follows us, no call to action, no big phone number up here. It's this tiny little phone number in the top left, okay? Um Let's look at everything. You got a bunch of content, then no call to action. You want content, call to action. Content, call to action. I like the fact that you got your embed right here, but I can barely read it because it's black text over white. All right. I like the fact that you got your social media icons. That's good. You got two addresses. You got some good content here, but you got your form all the way down at the bottom. I guess praying that people are going to contact you there. Um, your you know your phone number doesn't even pop out. You want it to pop out. All right, let's look at your actual content real quick, and I'll send this over to you. But for example, that was the last one. Let's look at Borden's. So your content, once again, you're not passing either. I mean, some of your pages are decent. Home page is decent, but you need about fifteen hundred words on home page. None of these pages are passing. Closest one is child custody and then shared parenting. This one, you know, so some of them are decent. It's a decent amount of content, but we would want to improve it. Your blogs, we'd want to be at least 1,500 words doing press releases at least for a month. We'd want a YouTube channel to be completely optimized. 
and then we create videos in regards to that on YouTube, optimize those, and then embed them on the blogs. And then besides that, then I also embed them inside your press releases. Your blogs are worthless. They're for probably at best 300 words, 400 words. And, you know, most of that's going to be garbage, quite honestly. It's 304 words. You minds will not even do them. Last one you did was in December of 2020. Best thing, you know, is to get blogs that are 1,500 words or longer. And I know it's hard for the law industry um, because there are different laws and different things. You can't just go out and say, but as long as you have a disclaimer on your website, you should be good. Now let's look at your GMB. See if you have an actual GMB listed at least on your contact page. Please tell me you do. And you have a giant map, but it's there's nothing that's just an image. This isn't even a GNB. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to, you do have the embed down here, which is good in the footer. So let's take this and we're going to go over to your local Falcon and we're going to run a report for you and see where you're at for family lawyer. You know, because you could still be ranking, it's always possible, but as far as your errors, you have 2,676 errors that need to be fixed on this website, right? 1,700 do follow external links. I don't know why you have that many. You have 380 broken links. That's your major, major problem right there, all right? Let's go ahead and I'll send this report over to you. But let's go ahead and run this report. Try to find your location. This one we're looking at is in Oshawa, Canada. So let's look at this for you. So it's that one right here. Let's we're gonna look for just family lawyer, right? I'm gonna take that out and just go family lawyer. And once we're done running this, we will send all of this over to you as well. So um, Patrick asking me on this live, um, how am I checking the word count? I hit control A, it selects everything. So for example, if I hit control A, it selects everything. And then I have a plugin, it's called Word Counter Plus. When I right click, you'll see it right here. And then it will pop up and it will tell me you have 958 words on that page. Um, so for your ranking report over at Borden, best thing you've got going on is way over here in the far left. You're at 7, 5, and that's about it. I'm not going to lie to you, the lawyer department or the lawyer niche is a little bit harder, but it generally takes me about three days, and like I said, even with this guy here, he was, you know, in the top 20 in some places, but it took me 30 days, and now he's in the top three across the board. I would love to work with you. If you want my help, I will email this report over to you and then just reach back out to me and I will gladly help you over that board and family law. All right, let's go over to the next one. Got this one. All right, this one is going to be Fun Casino of Fun. It is Wiltshire's best fun casino. It's in the United Kingdom, so I'm going to hope it's an okay one we can broadcast. It is supply. They supply casino tables. I would not be interested in doing any uh, of this. You know, I will send you over your report, but I don't mess with anything that has to do with gambling just because I actually used to be a professional gambler and I gambled a lot. That's my only reason. Other than that, I would do it. Um, you do have some issues that we can handle. You know, your on-page SEO, you got 2,000 issues there. 
Um, I will at minimum give you this. You supply casino tables. Casino tables, right? If I look at this, same thing as usual. You need a button that pops out. You don't have a button there called action that pops out. You do have your five stars up here. Um, you know, that's hyperlinked to that for whatever reason. Uh, you got your packages, your different things, your gambling, right? Request a package. Um, let's see, view larger map. This is not even at an actual GMB. So let's see. Let's see if I can even see your GMB, if you've even given it to me. Mm -hmm. This is a Cadence WordPress theme. Cadence is decent, but not the best. If you were to actually look at your Lighthouse score, let's see what that is. You may need to fix that as well. But like I said, I mean, a lot of the one-page stuff I can help you with, even though it's a casino, but I won't do any monthly SEO. Not for anything in the adult, adult industries whatsoever. Cadence theme, wonderful. You pass the on-page SEO and you pass your page speed and everything else. Um, I will send you over your reports and we're going to go ahead and move along to the next audit. The next one is going to be a Furnish Lane. I believe it is a uh, furniture website. Yep. So on this website, one of the things I like, it has a sticky menu. Big call to action right hand side is bright. You have all this content right here. Let's see if you actually have enough content on your pages. You have tons of content. You don't have any location uh, content apparently. Let's see here. Yep, it's going nowhere. So that has nothing. I would either remove it or fix it. So you're an interior designing company in Kolkata. So you got tons and tons of content. All your areas you serve, everything. Almost kind of looks like you hired me to do it. <laughs> uh, let's see here. What else we got? Let me see if you got a GMB in bed over here. Nope. Just looks like you're going mainly after Kolkata. It doesn't look like even that maybe it's not a local business, but... You know, we'll send over the ranking reports as well if we can pull them. Let's see what we can do as far as your ranking report. Because without a GMB, I can't do the local Falcon report. But if you get that GMB over to me, I'll do the local Falcon report for you as well. But I'm going to go ahead and do the link assistant report and see what type of rankings, if any, I can pull for you. And we're going to go to file, we're going to go to preferences, prefer search engines, get rid of Yahoo, I could care less about Yahoo. Uh, put in Google Maps. Now what's interesting about this is you are in Kolkata, which is not in the U.S. All right, so where is Kolkata? So we can choose the right search engines. All right, it is in India. So this is a site that's in India, and we're going to go here and change all of this. All of this, because this is all giving me India, right? I mean, United States right now. So. If we're in Kolkata, India, we want to choose the maps, the mobile, all that. While that's running, we'll also run and see what your page speed is as well. Do the Lighthouse Report. You have 361 issues. I'll send this report over to you. Most of this I could fix in a day. You're missing an XML sitemap. Um, not a whole lot, duplicate titles, empty meta description, 
um, empty alt text. That stuff would take me a day to fix or a few hours. Okay. As far as your page speed, you're not passing. I would want to put this site in Gutenberg or even in Cadence or at least get the page speed. I could care less about GT metrics. I want to see what it's doing in Lighthouse, the report which we just ran. Let me see if I can see what you have. Yeah, it's definitely WordPress, but it's not passing. You probably have it in a different theme or Elementor. I want to get this page speed up to speed and make sure it passes. And it's not pulling any rankings whatsoever for this website. If you want some help, reach out and I will send these reports over to you in regards to everything. And I would gladly, gladly help you out. As long as it is a local site, I don't do anything to do with um, national sites, unfortunately. I don't do national sites and I don't do um, that sort of thing. So. All right, it's been about an hour here. I'm gonna go ahead and get off. Um, question from one user is all are these videos gonna be in the back end of Reloaded? No, they will not be. These are free. These are not a part of the paid course. They are only on my YouTube channel. Um, please make sure you chat and make sure you um, comment and share and met, definitely subscribe. And if you subscribe to it, make sure you turn on notifications. That way, anytime we go live, you will see these. And I will gladly help everybody out. And I appreciate every one of you. And y'all have a great day and be blessed.